let g of x equal x squared plus x if f is the inverse function of g then what is f prime of two so one way to start this problem is to take our g of x and set it equal to y so that y is equal to x squared plus x and then we can find the inverse of this by just switching x and y so that we have x is equal to y squared plus y and from here we just need to differentiate this with respect to x since in the end we need to figure out the derivative of the inverse function evaluated at 2. So taking the derivative of this the derivative of x is just 1 and we have to use the chain rule for each of these functions of y so the derivative of the outside of this is twice y to the first and taking the derivative of the inside with respect to x we get dy dx we have to add the derivative of y which is just one times dy dx and now we just need to solve for dy dx so that one is equal to dy dx we can factor it out so that we have two y plus 1 and dividing each side by 2y plus 1 dy over dx is equal to 1 over 2y plus 1 so this equation here is the derivative of the inverse of our function g of x though we need to figure out this evaluated with an x value of 2 but notice the right hand side of the equation only has y's in it so we need to figure out when x is 2, what is y in our inverse function? So we can plug x equals 2 into here and figure out what y should be. So 2 is equal to y squared plus y. And the only y value that this equation is true for is when y is equal to 1. So essentially we have to evaluate this derivative at the coordinate 2 comma 1. So let's do that. We have that dy dx is equal to 1 over 2 times 1 plus 1 and the denominator will simplify to 3 so our derivative of y with respect to x is this 1 third and this is our final answer though another way to solve this is to know the general formula for the derivative of inverse functions so the derivative of f this inverse function evaluated at x is equal to 1 divided by the derivative of our original function g evaluated at f of x so if we want to evaluate the derivative of the inverse at the x value of 2 we need to plug it into our formula here so that we get g prime of f of 2 and remember that x is equal to y squared plus y is essentially our function f though it's not solved explicitly for y and we know that when we plug in an x value of 2 we get a y value of 1 so f of 2 is equal to 1 so essentially we have 1 over g prime of 1 so we just need to figure out the derivative of g and evaluate it at 1 remember our g of x is this function here x squared plus x and the derivative of x squared plus x is just 2x plus 1 so we can evaluate this at an x value of 1 and we get 2 times 1 plus 1 which is 3 so again we find that this derivative of the inverse evaluated at 2 is just 1 over 3.